Thank you very much. Please uh, take your seats. Thank you very much uh, to uh, Governor Matt Manoto. Kinugutom na yata ti gubernador tayo. Uh, Ilocos Norte. Up to now, I cannot get accustomed to, uh, to doing this, but uh, I, of course, protocol must be followed, so I will greet uh, Ilocos Norte First District Congressman, Congressman Sandro Marcos. And of course, uh, the uh, long-standing uh, Congressman of the Second District, magpapalit-palitan lang kami ni Angel, uh, Congressman Angelo uh, Marcos Barba. And of course, Ilo Ilocos Norte Vice Governor, uh, Vice Governor Cecil Marcos, Araneta Marcos, may sapay nga Araneta. And MMSU President, Dr. Shirley Agupis, the Field Rice Director, Dr. John De Leon. And of course, uh, to complete my greetings, uh, to greet the uh, First Lady, Luis Araneta Marcos. The uh, Board of Regents, the officials, staff, and students of Mariano Marcos State University, mga minamahal kong kababayan na imbag nga daw yung amin. Since 2018, we have seen the successful collaboration of the MMSU and the field rice to the rice fields that you have turned into canvases. But the, and through this partnership, the nation has also seen the novel rice production systems and technologies that we can pursue in the years to come. Hence, with all that you have already accomplished and all that will take root through your work, I am greatly honored to be with you as we launch this year's installment of the MMSU Phil Rice Paddy Art. It's particularly important. Of course, it's very entertaining to see your picture uh, drawn out on a, rice, uh, on a rice field. But it dem what it demonstrates, and it is a, a very kind gesture, but what it demonstrates is how much it is we already know about the cultivation of rice and other agricultural products. And the reason is that MMSU, it was, for those who are not familiar with the history of MMSU, MMSU is a collection of agricultural colleges and high schools that was put together and made into Mariano Marcos State University. It was the first state university that my father built. It was his lifelong dream to build a good university for our people here in Ilocos Norte. And from that, from those beginnings, the research that has come out of MMSU has been exemplary. Of course, added to that, we have also Phil Rice, the Phil Rice officers are also here in Batak. And with that collaboration, we have seen how, uh, how much improvement and how much knowledge we have gained over the many years that we have been doing. You have been doing here R&D. Phil Rice has been doing their own R&D, the tests that you end up doing here, here and uh, in our Dingra station. Uh, all, of this, all of this work has come together, has been the, has, has had a product of very good technology and very good knowledge. Ito lang ang nagiging problema. At ito ang problema hindi lamang dito sa si Ilocos Norte, kung hindi sa buong Pilipinas. Paano natin tinata yung tinatawag na pag-scale? Well, how do, you, how do you move the new technology from the laboratory to the market? How do you learn how to produce that new product? Uh, at a lar in a large scale. So you're not talking about uh, doing uh, two or three hectares, you're talking about uh, planting 200,000 hectares. And there are, there are, there's, a necessary, uh, there's a necessary work to be done for us to be able to, as I say, take the new technology from the laboratory to the rice field. And that is where we now come in. And when I say we, I say we in terms of the Department of Agriculture. Yan ang gagawin ngayon ng DA na kukunin ng pinakamagagandang teknolohiya, lalo ngayon. Technology has become so important. The new technologies have become so important because of climate change. Ang daming nagbabago, ang daming kailangan mabaguhin, kailangan pag-aralan so that we can, we can make sure that we have 
a, uh, we have a, a uh, stable source of supply and that that supply is affordable to ordinary Filipinos. So that is the process that we are trying to do. And that's the part that MMSU, Phil Rice, such institutes such as yours uh, play. That is uh, so important now, especially with everything that we are facing. Nahihirapan tayo dahil nga sa climate change. We have, uh, we have uh, had to uh, control the prices of rice because the markets are uh, very volatile. So we try to stabilize, we're trying to stabilize it here in the Philippines. Para lahat itong nangyayari, kailangan na kailangan natin ang mga bagong teknolohiya. And that's the part that institutions like MMSU, like Phil Rice, and all the other agricultural research uh, universities, stations, uh, uh, do all around the country. Uh, that is the part that they play. They then should be able to give it then to the government, the new technology to the government, and the government is the one who will take it from the laboratory to the rice field. It is the government that will develop the technologies that are necessary. It's the government that will allow the farmers to process their new uh, product. It is the government's job to bring now those, those new products to the market and to make sure that whatever profits are made at the market, it will redound also to the benefit of the farmers. Madalas natin, we always talk sometimes, especially when it comes to rice production, we always talk about production. That's true. Production is very important. Kailangan taasan natin ang production natin. In other countries, they are doing 10 tons per hectare, 8 tons per hectare, or on average. Hindi ito yung mga piling-piling lugar. This is on average. 8 to 10 tons, tapos ang baba ng kanilang production cost. So, it's correct. We have to increase our production. But we have to make sure that that increase in production redounds to the benefit of the farmer. Because it is equally important for me that the farmer makes a good living and together, hand in hand with the rest of government, with the rest of the private sector partners, we will come together and bring it to market at an affordable price. Yan ang hangarin ng DA. At uh, kaya naman napa, naalala ko, dahil nga nakita ko yung uh, uh, hindi ginawa. Uh, Tinutokso ko nga yung mga, uh, I was teasing the students. I said, I hope uh, that uh, the palay, yung palay na anihin ninyo dun sa mukha ko, I hope masarap ang lasa, baka maglumabas na mapait, kailangan yung baguhin. But I don't think that's going to be a problem. MMSU will figure it out. Phil Rice will figure it out. Maraming maraming salamat sa inyo.